Good morning. I have some things to catch you up on. First and foremost, last night I finally had Swedish McDonald's. I know it's been a bit that I've been here. Why did I wait over two weeks to get this? I don't know. I don't know. I messed up. My first McDonald's. Yeah, we got McDonald's, finally. Finally. Um, cookie dough McFlurry. This is what it came in. It's cute. Mm -hmm. um, an extra drink, a Coke. Yeah. Fried apple pie. Yeah, fried, oh my God. Um, El Maco. <laughs> but it's El Veggie Maco or something. Which Justin said is like- It's um, just Taco Bell sauce on a McDonald's burger. So I had to. Um, McShaker fries. I'm not telling you what they taste like oh. when you're trying it. Um, a big share box? Yeah, so there's chicken wings, something they call chili cheese tops, which are like, I think their version of jalapeno poppers. Mm. And then chicken nuggets. And then a filet -O fish fries. And... I saw someone tweet about filet -O fishes, so I wanted a filet -O fish. I mean, that's a good enough reason for me. The shaker fries. Sorry, the um, the mix shaker is um, just taco flavoring. I know different countries like Japan and places have shaker fries just generally. I don't. I have no idea if this is like a special promo just for like this El Mako thing they have right now. Um, time will tell. But yeah, like shaker fries are a thing other places in the world. Here, they're just taco seasoning. We'll see if that expands. But they were good. It's like a fun novel thing. I think I like regular fries better, but this was okay. The El Mako was, like Justin told me it would be, <laughs> like just a burger with like taco sauce on it. But it was good. There was like a lot of tomato on it, which I like tomato a lot, so that was good. But my favorite thing by far was those little jalapeno popper things. I forget what they are called. Chili cheese tops. But um, they're incredible because it's like a jalapeno popper flavor, but it's all like mixed up already, like chopped up jalapeno. So good. And multiple places have them, like Burger King has them here. I think they're just like a, a thing on many menus, which is very exciting because they're incredible. So that was the big highlight for me <laughs> the past few days. Um, other than that, I've just been like not moving a whole lot to heal from my crazy scooter accident last week, which as you can probably tell, I've healed quite a bit. So. Yay me! I have crazy bruising on like one of my legs and uh, my hip, but they don't hurt constantly. I don't have any joint pain, which is incredible. I have like back pain. It's on both sides too. I think the right side kind of like didn't hurt for a while because the left side hurt so much in comparison, but now that the left side's calmed down some, the right side hurts again? I don't know. Um, but I can move it, you know, and it doesn't hurt too much. So I'm feeling good, honestly. As such, I cut my hair. I used this, which we got for like um, our face, cause it's face and body. And so it worked, you know, it did the job. I don't think this is like wide enough to really like do a good job in the, decent amount of time. It just took so long. So I need to look into getting like a, a hair trimming set um, in the long run because that was kind of crazy. And my hair kept getting like stuck in the contraption. But yeah, like I am doing better. <laughs> oh yeah, one fun thing that I kept that I wanted to show you guys. I kept to show you guys, I'm not gonna keep it forever. This was the spoon for the McFlurry. It is made of wood. What a concept. So it, it's not gonna, you know, sit in a landfill forever. 
Um, I've noticed that here a lot. There's less plastic in general. It's nice to be somewhere that kind of cares about plastic waste because this worked perfectly fine as a spoon for the McFlurry, which by the way, wasn't that great. The cookie dough was like, meh, bleh. It was kind of like dry, weirdly, but I got it because I love cookie dough and because it was advertised as being new. Um, so they probably will like switch out what they have every now and then. Um, but yeah, not gonna get that one again. You live, you learn. And huge shout out to this Zalve brand wound healing cream. I'm really surprised at how quickly my wounds are healing. So I assume it's because I smothered this all over them more than once. So this was such a great turn of events that I just chose this when Justin had his cut two days before I got my accident because it really has been quite wonderful. In terms of healing, the accident was not wonderful, um, but the healing has been wonderful. It's raining. We are on our way to our second Swedish class. It's supposed to be our third. It's supposed to, but... I don't know, it was nice that we that last week's got canceled. Yeah. Thanks. Gave us time to like get our books and stuff. Should be a good one. We did get dinner. Uh, did you get the exact same sandwich as last time? Yeah. Yeah, so we both got the exact same sandwich as last time. Well, the other sandwich was $5. And the other ones are three. I'm like, I don't think the sandwich is gonna be two dollars more worth it. That's like twenty percent. Yeah. No. More? Forty percent. Yeah, that sounds right. All the stores here are like the same clothes. They have like like puffer jackets and puffer vests and like denim shirts and like khaki pants and just like the same fits. Like, how do you not get like burnt out on wearing the same type of clothing? We went to Swedish class, which it's been a couple weeks, so it was kind of rough to start, but I think we both got into the swing of it again. Yeah. And I can tell that my big hurdle is going to be pronunciation of things. Because I'm just used to learning languages that are phonetic. And this is not that. But otherwise, it's going good. It's kind of like English in a way. Like, there's a lot of stuff that feels very similar to English. Mm hmm And then we had sandwiches. Mm hmm Our airplane sandwiches. Yeah. They were good. They're always good, though. I'm a big fan of the curry chicken one. I'm a big fan of airplane sandwiches. Um, tandlekare. Is that your word of the day? Yeah, it's stuck in my head. Do you guys ever get words stuck in your head? Like, not like a song or anything. Like, I just, I have the word for dentist in Swedish stuck in my head. Tan, tandlekare. Tandlekare. I don't know. Lekare. Pronunciation. It's like when you get like a vine or a TikTok stuck in your head. It's not a song, it's just like someone saying something. Mm. Now I have um, the one where it's like the rap song and it's like a girl singing and then the guy comes in and he's like, Damn little mom, I love the way to see you dancing. Just back and forth between that and Tan Lakare. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tan Lakare. Okay, bye. Bye.